Okay, so now what we're going to do in this video is we're going to check our uh, rod bearing clearance. It's a little different from main bearing clearance. We don't get the convenience of the plastic gauge. And the reason, I don't know if other guys use plastic gauge. I've tried it on rod bearings, and I don't know if other guys use it, but I never had no luck. And the reason is, when these two rods are side by side on the same journal, you've got to have rod side to side clearance. So after they're clamped down with the recommended, I think, two and a half thousandths clearance, two to three, I think is what the uh, range is, two to three thousandths of an inch. And these are supposed to have, I forgot how much, I'll have to look it up, but they're supposed to have some side clearance. And when you tighten these down, they will tend to move what little there is, and it messes up the reading on the plastic gauge. Whereas the main bearing is a lot more solid and stable and it goes straight down and gives you a pretty accurate reading. So, the way I check rod bearing clearance, the first thing I did, I went back, went back, and checked all my new bearings, and I'm getting 61, 61 and a half thousandths of an inch. And my old used ones were the exact same thing, so they're all good. And the next thing I did, I have it all written down here. I've already took a mic to my crank journal, rod journal, and it's 2 inch 199 thousandths. So, you got to add the, the sum of both those bearings together, which is, okay, your crank journal, 2. 0.199 plus 0 0.061 and a half will equal 2 inch 260 and a half plus 0 0.061 and a half your second rod bearing and that equals 2 inch 322 so what we need to do now now you you got 2 inch 322 and what we need to do now is bear with me, I'm terrible making videos but we need to check this diameter right here and I've already torqued all these down to the recommended torque which I believe was 45 foot pounds your rod boats it is and we take our inside mic. This is not my favorite kind of inside mic. I would like to buy me the kind of have three prongs. And it's a lot easier to get it in there square and get an accurate reading. So I'm getting, okay, I'm getting, yeah, about 324 and maybe 7 tenths. Now this thing does not have an indicator on it. This shows in the tenths. But there is your 324. It's a little past the halfway mark. I'd say about 324 and 6 tenths. So we had 2 inch. 322 was the diameter of the crank journal plus the diameter of both the bearings. And I just got 2.324 Oops, hold up. I just got 2.324 6 tenths minus 2.322. I'm getting 2 thousandths and 6 tenths clearance. Now let's take a look at our book. I believe it was 2.5 to 3. And it, probably a race engine can be a little looser than probably what this book is saying. I'm pretty sure these are stock specs. I I'm pretty sure most race engines can be up to three. Here we go. Rod bearing clearance, two and a half to three thousandths. Now, I'm, what I'm getting with my tools, which may or may not be calibrated perfectly, they're pretty close because I did check the calibration on this and this. Uh, I'm getting two thousandths and six tenths. So what I have to do now, now I already checked all my rod journals and all my bearing thicknesses. They all match up, which makes it easier. i got to go through here and check every single one of these guys 
and make sure I get the proper diameter right here. Okay, so I've checked them all like I said I was going to do, and they're all exactly the same according to my way of measuring and my measuring instruments here. Uh, they're all there's hardly any variable, if at all, in them. And when I say variable, I mean difference. I mean down to the tenths of a thousandth. I couldn't see any. And I also checked them all this way and that way to make sure they're good and round. And they all seem to be dead on. So I'm making this video very short. I'm kind of separating each thing or each step I do on this engine. And checking bearing clearance is one of the tedious things that you have to do before you get in a hurry and want to assemble. Believe me, I love assembly. I kind of don't like the tedious process of checking all the clearances, but it's very important because you could scrap your engine if something's not right. So, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. I think the next one, we're going to put a piston ring filer together that I ordered. It's a little cheap one, but it's a lot better than the way I used to do it. And uh, I'm going to show you how to file fit one set of rings.